the, the British military base in Cyprus has had flights going daily from the beginning of this war. It has transported most likely weapons, but possibly soldiers on those flights. In addition to that, you have the case of recent refusal by the Foreign Office to answer questions about the activities of British Special Forces on the ground in Gaza. You have the denotice sent out by the British government to suppress reports on the activities of the SAS. Britain is a participant in this war, not just diplomatically, not just politically, but very likely militarily. You have 79 different companies, 79 companies active in this country that provide components for the F-35 and the F-16 fighter jets that Israel is using currently to bomb Gaza. Britain is a signator to the arms trade treaty, meaning that Britain cannot sign off on any export which could be used for violations of international humanitarian law. You have the legal and the moral right to shut down those companies right now. Many of them, many of them will be in your own communities. There are around eight sites for Elbit Systems, Israel's largest arms company, active in this country right now, producing weapons that are being used right now. We should go into those factories and we should shut them down immediately. Immediately. Now the other point to emphasize is the Israeli Ministry of Culture and the Israeli Ministry of Education have for some decades been funding an organization, a few organizations, whose stated objective is the replacement of Al-Aqsa. Is the replacement of Al-Aqsa. Let's be clear, what is happening now is a precursor to what Zionist organizations funded by the Israeli government have the intention of doing to Al-Aqsa. We must be absolutely clear. The racists are those that support these genocidal policies and have done for tens of years. You, as young people within the school system, within the education system, are targeted by normalization programs, programs like Solutions Not Sides, programs like Forum for Discussion of Israel and Palestine. Other organizations too are funded by the British Foreign Office, are funded by the British government, and are also funded by the same people that fund settlements, by the same people that fund the Friends of the IDF, by the same people that fund Care Starmer. You will have these organizations come into the school and ask you to meet with former Israeli soldiers. This will happen. It happened in 2021 when students were expelled for standing with Palestine when students were suspended for standing with Palestine, and it will happen now again. People will be expelled, people will be reported to prevent, and these normalization programs will come into the schools. Read up on these programs, research these programs, look at who the employees of these programs are, gather your forces, collect signatures from parents, students, teachers even, and refuse these programs. Because what they are aimed at doing, what they are aimed at doing is turning out this fire. They are about cancelling your aversion to seeing mass human suffering. We must defeat the normalization push in the schools if the next, next generations have any hope of being able to effectively organize to challenge what Israel does in this country.